Hey, thanks for tuning in. It's Matt the Marine here again. I'm going to go ahead and make a video on some fall tracking tips here for you. When the leaves get, I don't know, I don't want to say deep, but, you know, enough to cover up your toes if you were to stand in them. There's, uh, there's some things that happen when people walk through them. And I chose to bring my kids out here so they create some traffic and kind of make this a little more obvious than it may normally be. And that's so that it picks up better on camera and so that's easier to learn. So you're going to notice here that we have some leaves around here and they are basically the top part is up. A lot of times when the leaves fall for some reason I see them top parts up uh, or more accurately the drier part tends to be on top sometimes depending on the conditions. And then when people step what happens is they will kick up some of the leaves. So like right in here you see a dark spot. And that's where the, the leaf used to be facing the other way. So the part that's now up is the part that used to be down, okay? Also, another thing is sometimes when people step, it'll make the shape of a footprint. And I don't know if you can tell right in here, but this does actually kind of look like the shape of a foot. Depending on how much the person weighs and, and the condition of the leaf, you'll also get a ridge sometimes. I got a walking stick right here. I'm going to see if we can get a ridge on this. So we're going to put some pressure down, and it's very faint, I don't even think you'll see it on camera, but sometimes you'll get like a circle shape. So here we got leaves that have been kicked up, the, the uh, wet part, or the wetter part is on top, the drier part's over here, like I said we got the wetter part here, and then we got a gap, and look again, right here about uh, one stride or one gate's distance away, we have more leaves that have been overturned so it's wet on top and everything else around it's dry. Okay, another stride distance here. And you can't always see a perfect footprint shape, but we have wet wet leaves amongst the dry leaves. And so on and so on, okay? So you can see going down, some of the stuff's been kicked up. It takes time to pick up some of these details. You're not always going to get a perfect uh, example, you'll get a partial print or maybe one leaf will be overturned. You know, conditions have a lot to say in, uh, in how the environment responds to being tread upon. So those are things to consider as well. But if you are into tracking big time, this is something to consider. This is something that can help you out. When I look at the ground, sometimes I don't even see a footprint shape. I just see an indication that something's been kicked up. Um, other times I'll actually see a tread pattern on top of leaf or I'll see some kind of imprinting where uh, the outer edge of the shoe or the boot actually made kind of a ridge or a shape of some kind on the leaf itself and one part will be flat in the shape of a partial print and then the other part will be like a normal leaf. So the condition of the leaves, the weather, how wet things are, how heavy a person is, how they step those all factor into what's going to be able to be there for you to track and how clearly you'll see it. Um, tracking is one of those things where no matter how long you do it, you're always going to learn stuff. And it's important to get out there and practice it every day if you can. All right, thanks for tuning in. Have a great day. Semper Fi and God bless.